We began our story in the year of 1957 in a small town called Kepville, where two feuding families try to separate true love. The Halogens and the Nobles have always hated each other. The Nobles are stable and well off, with eight balanced electrons, while the Halogens are desperately trying to grasp their eighth. It makes these Halogens jealous towards the Nobles. It will take a lot to get the electron from the Nobles. They have a high ionization energies. Uh, a great evil is about to unfold. A forbidden love between two families is underway. Let's begin. Yes. Your hands are cold. Yours are very warm. And your eyes. Not as beautiful as yours. Xenon, we need to go. I have to go. When can I see you again? Meet me in the gazebo in the North KCTC forest tonight. Zena, what are you doing? He's a halogen. You're a noble? Lauren, are you crazy? That's Zeon noble. Yeah, um, you know what happens when you interact with elements like those. Keep your head out of the cloud, lover boy. Florian, Florian. Where art thou, Florian? Seven advanced electrons and I would love to have an eight. I react with every element of the periodic table besides helium, neon, and argon. I love playing chess and I love collecting stamps. Your life is so interesting. I bet you have a more interesting life than I do. Oh, not even close. My family doesn't react with anybody, so I just spend my time alone in my room reading. It's very boring, except for the occasional time when sodium decides to go swimming and there's explosions all over the place. I have eight valence electrons, so I'm content, but I still feel lonely. You never have to be lonely when you're out. Zeon! Zeon! I have to go! When can I see you again? Meet me here again tomorrow night. Okay, sweet dreams. I cannot believe you were in the presence of that halogen boy. It was nothing, Mom. Honest. I know how you feel about them. Don't you dare think of marrying him. You are betrothed to Aryan. You would not dare break his heart and ruin his family. I can't marry Argon. He's a lonely noble. I can't marry him. Stop, Zion. I'm leaving. Hey, lady, your mother's trying to help you. She's. She can't tell me who to love. She's a lonely noble who sits at the top of the periodic table. Just living her life away, as lonely as can be. And she expects me to live that way too? I'm Xeon, not Helium. Just lay down, you need to call me Nucleus. <laughs> Good night, Neon. Good night, Xenon. Who do you think you are, lover boy? At least what I have with Xeon real is real. My mommy and daddy just set me up with her. That's because you're a stupid halogen. Come on, guys, he's not worth it. But he's making fun of us, too. Let's do something about it. You're the worst element. Take this. Flurry, I thought you were going to meet me at the gazebo. I just couldn't wait to see you. I missed you. Yep. Why are you so early? There was a fight. What happened? Chlorine and Argon suddenly got into a fight. There was a big explosion, and now they're both dead. We have to go now. Why? There's a chemist I know that can marry us. Marry? Then everybody will know our bond is inseparable. Okay. Let's go. Alright. We have gathered here today to celebrate holy matrimony. Do you, Florine, take Xenon to be your lawfully wedded compound? I do. And do you, Xenon, take Florine to be your lawfully wedded compound? I do. I now pronounce you XEF2. You may now kiss the bride. And so in the end, 
A noble did indeed react with a halogen, but only under specific lab conditions of highly trained chemists. And nobles remain the nobles, and the halogens remain the halogens. The fluorine and xenon will always be together in the compound. There is no suicidal tragedy in this making of Romeo and Juliet. Just an unhappy mother. Hey, I heard your daughter got married. To whom? Oh, that one guy that she was dancing with. I, you know, that guy, something. Florine! And a lonely guy.